I'm Katrina. Thank you so much for stopping by to check out my video. Um, my channel, Create Something Pretty, is all about sewing and creating items for a handmade wardrobe. Hopefully that's something you're interested in and you'll stick around to see what I talk about. Today's video is all about the item, the patterns and the fabrics that I purchased in January. Um, I also have a few items that I'm going to put in at the end that I made for my great niece and my nephew. Uh, we went away this weekend just being for my nephew's first birthday and I was, to be honest, too lazy to go down the shops. <laughs> so I made him a little present so you can stick around to the end to see that one. Um, but first off I want to get through some of these patterns because I believe it's about nine patterns I've purchased over January which sounds ridiculous but I have already made one. <laughs> Is that good? I don't know. That's not a lot. But I have intentions to get them all done. We'll see what happens. Um, Today I am wearing a handmade jumper that I made quite a while back and my top is ready to wear. It's just a vest singlet top because it's quite humid and hot outside. I'm also wearing um, the rectangles, rectangle ruffle skirt by DIY can't remember her last name, DIY, I'll put it down the bottom, I can't remember, anything I can't remember, I'll put it down the bottom, my memory is shocking. Uh, so yeah, so I'm wearing mostly handmaids as usual. Um, yes, it's just hot and humid. I did try very hard to shoot this outside, I would have loved to have it in the garden, but it seems every time I go out there it rains or the weather is horrible, and now that I'm inside, it's stopped raining. But it is forecast to rain for most of the day, so I, it's probably just safer inside. I've got fabrics and a whole lot of paper here. I don't want that getting wet. Anyway, I'm going to get on with it. Let's get some of this done. There's quite a few patterns to get through. So the first item I purchased, now I am shocking at pronouncing names, and I'm very sorry. I apologise in advance if I've said these wrong, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to say them wrong. I will do my best. <laughs> So the first one, I do have notes because there's quite a few. Um, so the first one I purchased was one that I have been after for ages and ages. I loved it when it first came out. Um, I think I held off purchasing it because the dollar, Australian dollar, wasn't very good at that time. Uh, but I caved. <laughs> it was probably the first pattern that I purchased this year. And... When you see it, if you watch my other videos, you'll understand why I purchased it. I'm going to put a picture in here because I don't have a great picture of it. I've only got the uh, the printout from the PDF. Um, this is the Nepheline Nepheline blouse by Vivian Shahayo Chen. That's what it says on the pattern. Can you see that? It has pin tucks on the sleeves. And the beautiful ruffle option around the neck here. I'll make sure I get that picture in as well. Um, I love this. I love it. It's right up my alley. It is beautiful. I am a sucker for pin tucks. Um, I'm not sure that I would put them on the same shirt. Maybe I'd do them separately on different shirts with two details. But uh, maybe it depends on the fabric you use. Maybe you could do the two together. But oh, I can't wait to make that up. That's more something I'll probably wear in autumn. Not so much now because it's quite hot and humid. Uh, unless our weather reverts back to um, winter weather again like it was earlier. <laughs> um, yeah, that's sort of down the track. So I'm so excited to have that one. I love her patterns. I believe she has a new jacket pattern out at the moment. I think it's a Daphne jacket. Oh, I love it. I'm just holding back so hard to... Oh, I really want to buy it, but I'm trying to be good. <laughs> I'm just trying to put some time between the release and when I buy it. But we'll see how we go. So that was the Nephilim blouse by Vivian Shayo, it says on here. I don't know if that's right. I'm very sorry if that's wrong. I'll link everything down the bottom as well. In the description box down the bottom, I try to always link things. So if you want to know more about it, um, I'm still learning how to do all that. So hopefully I've done it right. So the next pattern, I bought quite a few from Love Notions this month because I have their Friday 
they have their Fridays, um, I don't know what they call it. They have their Friday sale um, every Friday. They have to choose one pattern and it's five dollars. Um, so I always keep an eye out for that because I do like their patterns. They have a lot of nice styles. Um, I'm not sure if they had a sale at earlier this year. I'm not sure if that's where I got them all from. I can't remember, but generally it's the Friday sale where I get them from. Um, I purchased three patterns from them this month. Um, the most recent one I got was the Oakley vest. Um, if Melbourneites are big, if you come to Melbourne in the middle of winter, we all wear puffer jackets. There's a, <laughs> my sister pointed out to me, she's from the country and she came in and she was like, everyone's wearing these puffer jackets. Well, I'm no different. <laughs> so, um, whenever I buy vests, um, I always when they sit too bulky on my hips. And that's not an area that I want to attract any more attention to than what I have to. So I am very interested in giving this a go and making my own vest. Uh, it has, I think that has a hooded option. And do I have the pattern here? No, I'll have to put a picture in it. I don't have the pattern here. Some of these I haven't even printed off yet. So this, I'm pretty sure I haven't printed this one off yet. Because it's. I find my Wi-Fi is not great when the kids are home and everyone's using Wi-Fi. And sometimes it's just the time of day. It doesn't seem to be very good. So anyway, so I purchased that one. Um, there's a couple of different options on that. I think there's a hood, hooded version and not hooded, hooded version. So I'm looking forward to giving that a go closer to winter. I also purchased um, the Lyric dress. Uh, there's so many different options for this one. Um, I, I have a lot of dresses that have that button down style. They seem quite similar. But I noticed this one, I think it has a gathered, I'm doing all this from memory. <laughs> I think it has a gathered waist and there's an option for it to not be gathered. Um, and it has all the different sleeve options as well. And I think there's a puffy sleeve option that I was really interested in. So I'm really looking forward. I've, I always check out my hashtags whenever before I buy a pattern. I don't know, do you guys do that? I love how Instagram, you can put in the hashtag, put in the name of the pattern and check out everyone who has made that pattern. I love that about Instagram. And just then you can see people who look like you and see how that item sits on them and what fabrics they've used. I love it. It's a fabulous thing, uh, fabulous tool. Um, I also purchased the Metro Blazer. So there will be pictures for all these things. Uh, also from um, Love Notions. I like, oh, I have the pack. I've got the pattern here. I like this version here. I have seen this this one. I think that would look good if you use the right fabric, more like a. I'd make it look more like a biker's jacket, maybe. Hmm, like a black sort of leathery or faux leather sort of style. I don't know, maybe or even suede. But this one, I think, is more, um, more like a dressy jacket. These are knits. That is something that really appealed to me, that this is a knit jacket and it would be very, very comfortable. So I'm I'm really looking forward to having a go at these. I have seen a couple of other YouTubers have made it and um, yeah, I love it. I think it's it looks good. Um, I think it looks much better made up than it does on these line drawings. So we'll give that a go, see what that looks like eventually when I get to it. <laughs> um, okay, so that was all my Love Notion patterns. I also purchased earlier in the month the Amelia jacket by Sew Over It. Um, I am always, 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 always looking for jumpers to put over when you wear a skirt or a dress. Like I wear a lot of skirts. I'm, I'm one hundred percent a skirt person. I feel more comfortable in a skirt than I do in shorts. I feel like shorts don't really suit me, or I just haven't found the right style to suit my body. Um, so I would, I'd love, I'd rather wear a skirt, um, than even more so than a dress. So I'm, um, I think I'm just realizing that now that the weather is heating up and I'm kind of realizing what I want to wear. Um, so I kind of, there's a couple of patterns I've bought here because of that. And then it's just finding the jumper to go with it when it does cool down. Um, so this is the Amelia jacket by Sew so Over It. I think it's a very smart jacket. Um, it can be quite dressy or dressed down. It's cropped with your gathering and um, it's got collar. And I just think that would be really nice uh, as a jacket for 
be nicely cropped not over a dress or over a skirt yeah I really like that one um I also what else have I purchased I got oh okay and now recently little lizard king and styler which is basically the same company what styler is the women's section and little lizard king is the children's section oh, i kind of went a bit nuts <laughs> they had a 30 percent off sale i think it only just finished um over the weekend um i purchased a skirt pattern for myself um i got the sitka sitka i haven't printed it off the cover page i'll put a picture of that one in um i purchased that one that is a woven dress pattern with a zip in the back and i haven't done a zip in ages um i really like the style of this i was actually thinking about making it up in a denim and i'm kind of tossing between the knee length and the midi length or um, i might even just shorten it to be just past my knee because i'm quite short i don't want to accentuate that <laughs> i want to make myself look taller we always want what we don't have, hey. So um, that's what I'm planning to do with that one. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm in an hour about what to make it out of. But I want it to be casual because I'm not working at the moment. I'm a stay-at-home mum. So I need it to look fairly casual. Hmm, let's see what, what happens. But I also purchased the Jollette. Now, I bought this in the child and the ladies. I have already made one, which I will show you in a little bit. Um, I went, I needed to make this for my daughter because she has shot up so much over these holidays. And all of her, her skirts that she currently have, instead of being like so just above the knee, they are now mid-thigh. And uh, that doesn't sit well. <laughs> she doesn't mind, but I do. <laughs> so I need them to be a little bit longer. So I need to make her a few more skirts. I have one currently already cut out. I have already made one. Um, and I will show you those at the end. Um, I also, I liked this pattern so much because it was very easy to make. It was a really basic construction. And I have a lot of other patterns similar. Like they're probably different in style. Like I have one that's a bit more A-line. It's probably a little bit too A-line. I wanted more the, I kind of realised... I want the more straight style on me. I don't want to accentuate the wrong bits. <laughs> I'm trying to flatter the, I don't know if flatter is a good word. I'm trying to just accentuate the right bits. <laughs> That's what I like. So, um, yeah, so I bought this pattern for myself as well. Um, and so we can now have matching skirts. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever actually really do that. I probably would make similar, but I don't know if I would wear them at the same time. That's not really my thing. <laughs> But, and um, I also purchased, oh, the Parker, it's a jersey dress. Um, I got, this one I purchased the, the ladies, the children's and the doll pattern. <laughs> um, I, um, I purchased this, the, I purchased the children's one first uh, for my daughter because she does need new dresses, as I was saying. Um, and I also thought I have my great niece. She is, she's like about eight months old. Can't remember. <laughs> guys, time goes by too quickly. Um, I thought I could make some for her. If this is a nice, easy make, I could make one for her as well. And I also purchased the doll one, which is like um, the Our Generation dolls or American Girl doll size. Um, I've got, I purchased that pattern as well. And I have been looking at it for myself for ages and ages and I was holding off thinking, oh no, you've purchased enough, don't buy any more. Uh, and yeah, I bought it for myself as well. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to making that up. I've only just ventured into making jersey dresses. Um, I've made them in the past and I've used the wrong fabrics and they've come out looking like 90s. <laughs> they just didn't look great. So I, the last one that I made was in a spandex rayon and it was fabulous. I'm so happy with it. Um, I don't want to talk about it too much because I want to put a picture of that in, in my next video. So that, oh no, there's one more pattern, one more pattern that I purchased. This is, I love, I don't know if I'm going to say the company name right though. Um, Alter Dupe. 
I love their patterns. They are beautiful. I love their fabric. Oh, I love everything about them. Um, I caved and I bought the Olivia the Olivia blouse. Now I have to put a pat, uh, I have to put a picture in because I don't have any great pictures. I can't wait to make this. I have seen so many people make this up. It is just gorgeous. Um, I'm sure I can make it so that I could wear it more casually. I'll, I'll find some way to wear it. It is beautiful. Just love it. So that was all the patterns that I purchased. That was a lot in one month. <laughs> but, uh, the style of patterns weren't really that expensive and neither were the Love Notion ones. Um, they worked out under $10 each and the style ones were about about $11 with a dollar. Uh, with the what's converted to the Australian dollars, what I'm trying to say. Uh, but the other ones, the Nepheline blouse, the Amelia jacket, and altered dupe, they worked out around uh, between $20 and $15 each. So, yeah, that was a bit expensive. So, I'm going to try and do a little bit better next month and purchase less because I don't think I can make up that many patterns in one month. And some of these are four down the track. So, yeah, some of them are the dresses and the skirts. I don't mind those at all because I'm planning to make them fairly soon. But I have so many patterns. I've got to do better. So, um, let's talk fabrics. Um, I had spoken, I think, previously about making bathers. Uh, I have purchased the um, Helen's Closet Sandpiper. I've got it here. Oh, here we go. I purchased the Sandpiper swimsuit pattern. I think it would be fabulous to make your own bathers, get the right fit, and never have to go to a shop and try and bathers in a changing room ever again. That sounds wonderful. I do not want. I do not enjoy that experience ever. So, I think trying to make these sounds great. Um, I have a couple of different patterns. Like I really like the top on this one. Um, I like the bottom of my swimsuit to have more coverage. I don't understand why women's bathers are so exposed, yet men wear the boxer shorts and they're not exposed. I don't know if it's the same in every country, but I don't think that's fair. I don't want to be that uncovered. Um, I've also got this one. This is the Cottesloe Curve um, from Megan Nelson. Um, I really like the, the pants on these ones. They have quite nice high coverage. I also like that there is an option to have it on just your normal one piece as well. I think I'm most likely going to do this option and maybe try and bring this band down a bit just to make um, just going to the toilet, that sort of thing, a little bit easier. So I do like a two-piece. So I love that one. I think it's a great, great way to go. And I have this as well. Superstar Bra by Waves and Wild. Um, I have, I purchased some spandex uh, a couple of weeks back and from the Remnant Warehouse. Um, I I can't remember what, I don't generally re-watch my videos. <laughs> It's sort of like looking at yourself in pictures. You don't really want to look at yourself. Um, I, I do my videos and then I don't rewatch them. <laughs> so um, I'm not sure what I've said. But um, I got quite a few comments on one of my last videos um, saying that I was going to make bathers. And someone suggested the Remnant Warehouse. And I had actually started uh, looking around at that stage to try and find where to get uh, my swimming fabric from. And someone... Someone suggested it and thank you very much because I did go to the Remnant Warehouse and I purchased fabric. <laughs> so um, I got it delivered just recently. Um, can't remember what these are. I wonder if it's on the thing. This is the first one. This was a, this is X Designer stock fabric. This is the first one I purchased. Um, it was a little confusing purchasing them. It's got, this one is very opaque you cannot see through it. it is wonderful i really like that it's black with all that detail um i love that one um and you don't need a whole lot of fabric um i think i only purchased a meter of each and i also purchased this one 
which has got the beautiful pink flowers. It's quite bright. It's a little bit more sheer, this one. Um, but I have also, I also picked up some lining as well, because I'm guessing I'm going to need that if it does go sheer. So a bit of lining. And I've also got the little um, bra cup cups to put inside it. So um, I still am on the hunt for a uh, swim elastic. I'm pretty sure you need like a, a rubber elastic so that it doesn't get waterlogged when you're swimming. So that's the next thing I need to get. Um, I haven't actually, I haven't really done any research to get that. I haven't had a chance with the kids home. So that's the next thing. So once I get that, I'm planning on giving those bathers a go because I am desperate for them. So I have some items that I've made to show you. Now this item came about because I had some fabric sitting in my stash that needed to be used and I wanted it to be used before the summer has end. And my daughter is desperately in need of new skirts. So that is what I did. I bought the Jolette skirt from Little Lizard King um, to make these, uh, to make a skirt. And I had so much of this fabric, I actually didn't realize how much I had. And so I decided to ask my niece if she would like a little skirt for her daughter. So I have made it and I've finished it and I have it to show you. And I think it is absolutely adorable. This is my little baby niece's skirt. It is so gorgeous. This is a pink, um, I think it's a baby cord from um, a Spotlight. Um, it's, I always, I like to put all the details in. Little kids love pockets, so you gotta have pockets. Everything is sewn on really, really tight. I've put a little, I've actually, um, sewn down the placket, so it's easy to put on and it's elasticated at the back. So I really, really hope it fits. Um, I had lots of trouble. I was going to do a, a buttonhole for the top button, but my machine just would not do the buttonhole i i had tried three times and had to unpick a machined button buttonhole three times <laughs> so in the end i unpicked it for the last time and i just sewed the button on it's got elastic in the back oh, i really hope she can still get it on so i just think it would be easier to undo the elastic at the back and make that shorter than it would be to try and get that damn buttonhole to go through. But it's such a different pattern. I really liked how um, the the bottom of the skirt, it has a facing and it just gives it that little bit of contrast. It's on the back of the placket as well. So I love that. I just think that's a great idea. And it's the cutest little skirt. I think I'd like to make a little um, puffy sleeve top to go with it as well because I have a, I think it was Little Lizard King. Hang on, I'm not sure. There's some company out there they've got a free little puffy t-shirt. I'll put the details in the description box below so you can see that as well. So I'm planning to make a puffy shirt to go down to go with it as well. And I'm pretty sure she doesn't watch my videos, so I might be safe, but otherwise, surprise! <laughs> There's gonna be a shirt as well. <laughs> um and I also made um now I don't have it with me. Um, I have already given it to my nephew. I made him a little, um, it's like a play mat. I made one for my kids and I actually have that one with you. So I'll show you that one. It is very well worn. It's a little bit broken. Um, but I'll give you an idea of what it is. Um, this is a little play mat I made for my kids. Um, and it's got little, little 3D, 3D trees and houses and it's like a little car mat you'd run your cars on and and your kids they lose things so if you lose your car mat I had little cars attached to these so that they could just pretend it's like a little car on there and oh, it's actually upside down there we go <laughs> it's a river for them to go across little track my kids loved this um I have little pockets on the back and you can oh, what's that I don't even know what that is but this one holds pencils um, my kids are like seven and ten. Sorry, this is a long time ago that I made this. Little pocket here to put things in. So I kind of forgot a bit of what, what the concept was. But um, yeah, I, for hers I made a little pocket to put the cars in with a bit of Velcro to hold it shut. Um, and 
yep i kept this in my handbag whenever i went out for tea and coffee um and i would have, get this out whenever i wanted them to sit and play and behave um while we're in a coffee shop just to give them keep them entertained um and you put pencils in and it just meant my kids just got used to going out and not running amok <laughs> in the coffee shop so um yeah and it kept kept me sane kept them happy and so yeah i made her one of those when they go out for coffee so that's everything i have to show you today i hope you've enjoyed that um i i'm wondering if you guys have you gone nuts on any of these sales um i'm hoping next time i've got some of these items to actually show you <laughs> it's been a bit of a difficult month um sewing wise because of my kids being home uh and we've kind of we've been in and out we've just been i've been doing things with the kids and just um yeah it's just more difficult when the kids are home to do everything <laughs> so hopefully next month they go back to school next uh more like the middle of next week it's a bit of a short week um and yeah i'm quite looking forward to it i'm not really counting down i'm actually quite surprised i'm not counting down this time um i've enjoyed having them home i've enjoyed having the sleep in um, my kids have just got into that age where they're just that little bit easier to look after. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to miss them. <laughs> so, yeah, so hopefully you've enjoyed my, sh uh, my show. hope you've enjoyed seeing those patterns. And don't forget to keep an eye out for my next video when I do my makes. So, yeah, thank uh, you so much for sticking around watching my video. I hope you've liked this video. Please, please give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And if you like this kind of content, please um, subscribe. And if you want to see when my videos come out again, um, please hit the um, notifications bell. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. I'm um, subscribed to so many people, it doesn't cost me a cent. And you just get to see when your favorite YouTubers are up. And there's so many sewing YouTubers out there. They are all amazing, very, very clever, talented people. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. And I really hope you decide to um, stick around and subscribe. And um, I will speak to you next time. Thanks so much. Bye.